Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Humankind. We're starting out looking at Thebes here. This is such a small, pitiful city, isn't it? Considering how long we've had it. I think this is going to be our financial city. I like to specialize my cities. I was like one city really specialized in money, another one specialized in, in, in science. And so I think Thebes is going to be our financial city. Because uh, he's got a pretty good situation financially with the uh, gemstones here and then what we've already kind of got constructing here. So I think this is going to be our financial city. We're really going to start working on that and just start... Uh, Trying to earn as much money as possible because there's there's a lot of uses for money, uh, and, and and just racing things is one of the more helpful things you can do with it, uh, but also just upgrading all those troops too. Now let's go to end our turn. Remember, we're waiting to get this this tech here. Kind of like everything is riding on that. We're about to get another unit here in two turns. Just kind of build up the uh, uh, probably a second whole army here to invade, and you can't annex them peacefully. Uh, that, that wouldn't be an option unless we destroyed the Aztecs first. I guess we'll go after this here. Yeah, we'll keep on moving towards that as we were planning. I was going to pull some of these units to go down there, but it would take them so long to get over there. It's just better to do this this way. And so, yeah, we'll send this army in first, and then that army will follow behind them. So it'll be next turn that we move into their territory, and it'll probably be a couple turns from there when we're able to get the, uh, the siege started. I don't know what they're rocking there. Independent people's going to have some pretty large armies because they're supposed to be like the mercenaries as well because you can hire them. And so, yeah, they can end up uh, having some pretty large armies overall, as we've seen in that one southern independent people's. So we can get this again. Uh, this is a whole nother district here. So you could actually attach it here. So, yeah, just earning us a whole bunch of money with these districts. Uh, this unique district that we got. So one more turn and we'll get that, that unit. They're growing so fast, though. We'll be able to keep on building units. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get these guys invading into the territory. Uh, and it looks like we have an enemy to fight. So let's go ahead and bring these guys in as reinforcements. Just make sure that uh, it's a nice easy fight where we don't take too heavy of casualties. And then we'll uh, actually get the, to do a battle here. We haven't done a battle in a... Or at least not a big battle in a while. She retreated. Okay, I guess that makes sense. But she's still in our territory, and it looks like we are now being engaged by them. Okay, uh, well, we'll go ahead and, and do this then. I think she was trying to get her city back. Uh, so, this is not a siege battle. Just taking a look at what they've got. They've got two spearmen and two horsemen. This shouldn't be too difficult of a battle overall. As you see, we are much stronger because of our reinforcements here, so they must have moved right there. So yeah, let's go and do a manual battle, although... Numbers will not be as useful as they typically are, uh, considering the fact that we've got this pass here that we're defending in. Now, is there any way for them to get around? I don't think so, except for right here. And they could end up attacking that location, but we're not going to want to stay in that location. Uh, we want to move back because they'll have the walls that they'll be able to attack from, giving them a bonus. And so we won't want to defend that location right there. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our best unit defending right here and then our second best unit which I guess would be just one of these guys here which one we already got one there because okay, that works and then to, to be able to get the, the hoplite bonus on both of those units you want to then have your other hoplite unit behind them you also want to be able to fire with the archer so he needs to be right here and then we want to move these horse guys back yeah, I think that'll work out nicely. Maybe we'll switch these two out. Okay, so I think that'll work out. Uh, so this is a good deployment. And I, I don't think they'll let a break through here. Now they are attacking us, so they get to attack first. We don't get to use our archers, unfortunately. They are going to attack from both these two directions. And what I didn't realize is this is not a hill location. But that's fine. It's still better than letting them attack three units here, I suppose. Although you can charge down. I guess there's that benefit. So let's go ahead and shoot at this guy. No mercy. There we go. Beautiful. Now we could push forward here. And I guess there's really no reason not to, other than the fact that if we don't, then we can defend instead. I guess that's what we'll do. We're on the defense. Let's make them attack us. And what I'm, I'm really tempted to do here, although he wouldn't be able to shoot anybody over there, he would have to shoot at somebody here. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. I was going to say, I was tempted to, to move this guy here, move him back, 
and then have him move up here so we'll get the high terrain bonus. We'll let him fight one more turn though. I think it's fine. So let's go to enter turn. And I did forget to hit defense for everybody. I'm hoping that they do it on their own. I think they do. Yeah, yeah, th we can confirm that they do it on their own. Okay, so now we know for sure that they do set up the defense on their own. I thought that was the case since they did the dig in, but I wasn't sure. I never really noticed that they had the little defend thing under there though. So yeah, we're gonna attack. We're just gonna keep on using the archer here. Getting him experience. And just like that, they are dead. I thought they had four units though. Oh yeah, yeah, they lost four units, okay. I thought I only counted three. All right, so we, we won that battle and, and I don't know how much of an army they still got left to defend here, uh, but we are a little bit damaged, so we could go back and repair up before we, uh, uh, we don't even have to go back, we could just go into this province right here to, to heal up real quick. But that is the end of this turn, so let's go ahead and move on to the next. And it looks like we got a few things constructed. We got something constructed here in Cairo. These guys are back. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and move into our own territory. Let's see which one we'd rather attack from. It's kind of based on where we would be situated. That's probably the better location, honestly. Yeah. So we'll want to go right here. And then bring in them, even though they don't have to be right here for us to get the reinforcement bonus. Yes. You know, to be able to bring them in. But we'll have them nice and close anyway. And we already know she's going to retreat anyways. Oh, she did not retreat. Maybe she couldn't retreat. She could have still had the retreat modifier on her. Now, does she have reinforcement? She does not. So we got her Assyrian Raiders and three of her warriors here that will be combatant. Now, we are injured. We did. Uh, we haven't healed yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a manual battle. It's another big battle here with with uh, six of our units. Or seven of our units. We have seven. I was thinking we only had six. All right, so let's figure out how we want to set these guys up now. Don't have as clear of a advantage in terrain as we did before. We, we don't want to be down here though. Yeah, that would not be uh, a good location for us to be. We don't want them hitting this guy as hard. So for right now, let's move over here until I figure out how we're gonna have this set up. Let's have this unit here, since he's a little bit weaker, this unit here. Uh, we want to keep them next to each other, and that means we'll probably want to have him here, perhaps? I don't know if that guy will be protected, so let's let's wait, because he might need to be there. And then we have our our uh, swordsman that we haven't used just yet. That we'd probably want to put up here. And I put this guy here so that only one unit can attack him, since he's weaker. He's a weakened unit. Uh, who's better? The horseman? Or the swordsman? Looks like the swordsman is a better unit. Yeah, so we'll use uh, him here. He has technically got the same combat strength as this horseman. And so what we'll do is have this horseman here. And then we'll want to bring this guy where he's got to be touching both of them. So he, he will be right here. The archer will be right there. And the last horse guy would be over here. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and end our deployment. And we get to attack first. Uh, we can't really see many of their units though. So we're going to shoot him there. And he is defending, so he has increased combat strength. So probably better to just uh, defend ourselves. And so we don't have to hit that defend button, which is really nice. And we're just going to end our turn here. Let them attack us. They went after the weaker unit, as you'd expect. And now they're going to attack uphill. And that's not going to go well for him. Oh, they did come up around here. That's interesting. So what are they gonna hide over there? It's, it's irrelevant because we'll just go seize their flag on the, the last turn. And there's not really any way for him to get down. Yeah, so I don't think he'll be an issue. He's not a ranged unit or anything. So yeah, really not much of a problem, honestly. All right, so let's get this unit wiped out. And then we'll wanna destroy that unit as well. Uh, let's do it. I guess we'll just attack down and destroy them. I was gonna try and get the cab unit involved here. We haven't really been using them at all. But they can go in and grab that for us. Oh, whoa. Okay, so there's a unit here. I thought he was over here. I thought they only had three, but you know what? They do have four units, we knew that. All right, so 
we do have better combat strength. We could do even better. And this guy did fire already, right? No, he did not. So let's go and shoot real quick at that unit. Not the best unit to shoot at because he's in the forest, but I didn't want to shoot him at shoot the other two because they were such low health. Can anybody else move and attack here? This guy could and do significant damage to him. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do that. 3751, 3446. Yeah, he'd be a better unit. You know what? He's injured. So let's get the horse guys in it for once. Yeah, we'll have the horse guys come on in here. Attack right there. And then, uh, don't know that we're going to attack up here. We, we would like to finish this this round, though. Or, you know, this, this turn. It's only round two, so we have one more attack. But yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Let's just... I mean, we know they're going to attack downhill, but at the very least, we'll be defending. So yeah, let's just go and enter turn. So we'll attack downhill. And yeah, that went a lot better than it would have went for us. And so this guy is just on the, the verge of being destroyed. Now we're going to use the archer to, to wipe him out, get him more experience. And then we can use these horses to go grab their flag. Since they do have another unit hidden somewhere, and that's going to be irrelevant, they will lose. Could go after him and look, but I don't even see the point of doing that. We already have their flag here. So let's just end the round. And there we go. Beautiful. All right, so we achieved victory there. I, I saw that we only destroyed three units, so maybe that unit lives. He might still be over here somewhere. Uh, but what we're gonna want to do now, if we can, we cannot. We don't have any movement points. Uh, but at least these guys will be healing up, and they have the, the brunt of the damage. So we'll let them heal up. Uh, we did get this unit finished over here. So we're gonna keep on building uh, this army up over here. Yeah, we'll just have this be a second secondary army. And really just, uh, we could we could get uh, districts again. That would always be an option. Stability is now high enough to get districts, and that would help us even when we turn this into a city. Uh, but again, we, we need more units down here if we ever want to fight down there. So might as well use this population here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get... I almost want to get a swordsman so that whenever we do get that tech, we can, we can get him upgraded. They're just not as good as the hoplites. It's not a huge difference, though. Yeah, I guess it's not a huge difference, and it's quicker production. So yeah, we'll go and get them. And most importantly, we'll be able to upgrade them to our new units as soon as we get that. Uh, so we're just going to have them stationed here for now. And Cairo did finish the construction of their research quarter. Excellent. Just trying to get more tech. Because yeah, we're not really earning as much tech as I would like to be. In fact, we're going to go ahead and pull off the money over to science. Just kind of produce a bit more. Uh, we are short on stability right now. That's a problem, and we already know what we're gonna do to fix that We're gonna get the commons quarter And we're gonna get it right here. We haven't built anything right there just yet And so we could get another plus five Stability here, but plus 20 is pretty big Of a bonus, so we're gonna go and get that now get the commons quarter started. That's gonna be taking three turns uh, we could Maybe race it next turn. We should have the money perhaps We got a lot of influence guys uh, just waiting for this tech here, and then we'll detach this and make it its own city. I don't know how much all that's going to cost us, so that's the reason why we're waiting. Uh, we would actually have to destroy that city first, I think, to make it cheaper. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I think it would be cheaper if we destroyed that city first. Uh, Pox on the wind. Today the Empire spans many cities and enjoys a period of peace. However, while citizens worry less about the horrors of war, other fears prey on their minds. The citizens are afraid. The city squares rife with hearsay. Rumors across the land speak of a terrible malady laying entire communities to waste. The sufferers bloodied and bedridden. What will you do? So we are in the Middle Ages. So this is essentially the Bubonic Plague, Black Plague. We have two choices here we can heed, in which case we'll move towards authority and cities will be locked down, increasing stability but reducing industry. Or we can ignore what a chance of bad consequences and moving us closer to tradition and we would lose our science bonus. So I think this is a clear choice, even if we don't want to go towards order, which I think we haven't really decided which route we're going to go on that one. But for right now, that's what we're getting. I think that's the one that makes the most sense for us. And increase stability in our cities. I think it was 10 turns, somewhere around there. All right, so these guys are going to heal up. One more turn, and then they should be healed. Actually, you know what? Let's... 
say we want them to sit here until they're healed, and then we'll attack here again. We did finish the construction of the Swordsman. I don't know if we want to raid that yet. I feel like we should wait until, yeah, until we're ready to do all this. So maybe build one more unit here with our population. Uh, they only have one more population anyway, so it lets us use all, all the population here. And what do we want to get? We'd have to race them out. So we, actually, we should consider that and the cost. Okay, well we have two archer units over here. I think we should probably get a cab unit chasing down archers. Yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. Uh, so we have the, the chariot, which is our heavy cavalry, the 22 combat strength, or the horseman, which is clearly better in this case, because we haven't got the upgrade for the heavy cab yet. So yeah, we'll just get the, the horseman. Uh, it is a little more expensive on the, uh, the upkeep. How much would it cost to race them out? We could race them out now, uh, but we'll wait until next turn. And then we'll race them out. And then we'll get rid of that city there. All right. Uh, how long does it take to, to destroy this? I didn't even look at that. That's something to consider as well. Ransacking would be... It's only one turn. Okay. Uh, so two more turns, essentially, is when we'll be getting that city then. So let's go ahead and uh, end our turn. And we're doing really good on money and influence right now. Oh, okay, so somebody has met us. And we and got our feudalism, and now which is what we're waiting on here. Hands. That's going to get that Let's food. Go That's going to well. be super helpful. And then, uh, of course, we, we can now build the cities, which is what we've been waiting on this entire time. Uh, so our choices here next are foreign outposts. We could actually get the trade expeditions now. I think we might go ahead and do that. It's only two turns to knock that out. We do want to get the war summons as well. Our unique unit is here in heavy imagery. So we want to start moving towards that. But you know what? This is so quick. Let's go ahead and grab it. Just two turns. And I think both these guys should be ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to go ahead and invade. Before we do that, let's go ahead and get Thebes building something because they did finish their construction. And we can build another one, but that's going to be down here. Still got a lot. 21 quite a bit. Uh, how much would we get over here for these though? It'd be 15 and 13 there. So yeah, if we were doing something for money, it'd be wise to, to just build the unique district down there. How are we doing on food? We're doing okay. It's not too bad. I uh, could also do something for influence or for science because the city doesn't really produce a ton of science, but that's all right. That's not really their focus. But we could always use more influence though. So I think that's what we're going to do is grab the theater real quick. I say real quick, it's five turns, but yeah, we're going to grab the theater, guys. Could also race that if we so desired. And we could even race this out. Uh, but we already know we have to do this one, so let's get this first so we can start destroying the city. I actually have one more population there. Uh, but let's go ahead and ransack this. It's going to be one turn to get that going, though before we do that, we should probably detach this. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to detach that. And then we're going to go ahead and get this city here ransacked. Because I just don't like the location of it. I prefer to build our own just to get all those buildings. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, because it has a trading route, it's going to give them a grievance against us, but we're not too worried about that. And yeah, we'll get a little bit of money from it too, so it's always nice. Uh, to turn this into a city right now, it'd be at 1060 I'm hoping that it'll get cheaper after we ransack. It might not, but that's why we're going to wait. We're not going to do this just yet. We're going to give it one more turn, get that ransack, just to see if that's any cheaper. At the very least, it'll save us 10 influence because we'll go over the limit and we'll lose 10 influence this turn. All right, so these guys are ready to go. Did we ever build? Oh, okay, that's right. Uh, we have to pick something for them to build in this time, don't we? But I don't think there's anything. Uh, I mean, I think you just throw something on there. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. See, so yeah, we'll just throw this on here. And, uh, again, it doesn't really matter. And then let's go ahead and uh, attack into here. Though it doesn't look like... Oh, that's because they're not visible yet. Okay. So let's just go in, uh, here and bring these guys with them. And then let's go ahead and do the siege. Um, it's gonna be a fairly easy seat. Well, you know, they do have the walls. 
We'll probably wait till we get the ballista. I mean, we could do it now. But I'm not really in a hurry, guys. Now, I don't think they're going to lose this unit ever. It doesn't look like we're not seeing any notifications about it. But let's just get the ballista. So we'll just hold out. Hold it out for two turns. And then we'll, we'll do the actual siege. They may even come out and attack us. But yeah, it's going to be a fairly easy siege overall. Uh, we have... You know, over double the strength there, so it shouldn't be too challenging. I'll be able to go and end turn. And then we'll be able to get our new city going. Executing your first ransack is not very friendly. Is that our first ransack? That's not our first ransack. Than the ransack -E. Maybe it's the first city we ransacked, though. It could be. No, no, we've ransacked a city before as well. Oh, she's got all kinds of stuff to trade for. Look at this. She's got lead. Yeah, she's got all kinds of goodies. All right, we'll take a look at that in a minute. All right, so we still have this as... Okay, so this needs a whole new outpost now. That's right. Uh, so we'll have to build the outpost again. I was thinking it would be uh, turned in... The city would be turned into an outpost, but that's not the case. We still got to set up a, a outpost here. And we can always set it up into a, a new location if we so desired. And we could even keep this as the city. Uh, but again, I think I want this to be the city here. You know, actually, I don't think this is correct. Uh, because right now, this is a garrison, but it's given industry because... It can't give stability because it's not connected to anything. So it says it's giving industry. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I just moved that. Didn't mean to move that unit over there. I'm over here, like, uh, hovering over stuff and pressing buttons and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I accidentally moved that unit over there, but that's fine. We'll just have to use this unit instead. Uh, we needed all these units for the attack down here. Anyways, even this might not be enough, honestly. Yeah, good God, that's so many units. Uh, but anyways, what I was saying is, is it saying that you're getting industry here? Uh, so when you hover over this here you see that it's going to grant three plus industry from here but the reason why that is granting industry is because it's not uh attached to anything so you, you can't get the uh, it's basically nothing it doesn't have any effect at all uh, because it's not connected to anything and so the industry hasn't been removed from there so you're not actually going to get that guys uh, so it's, it's actually much less that'd be three less uh so in that case it's essentially the same as going here exactly the same it looks like so yeah we'll just go here instead i like this location better but again the reason why we got rid of this wasn't about location guys i wanted to destroy that just for location it was about getting a new city here that's the key so that we'll have all of that infrastructure honestly i like both of these locations for the city i think we will do the city here though just because i said we were going to do it before and they're both fine locations i don't really have any issue with with either of them honestly this one's up on this hill here, but I like how this one sits up uh, around the mountains. Like, it's got mountains on three sides. It's kind of cool. So, yeah, I think we're, we're going to do it here, guys. Uh, so, this is going to be 510 uh, influence. The only real uh, effect, I should say, is when you come to adding these locations to the city, it would get, you know, different costs based on how far away it is. But, yeah, we're going to go and make this into the, to the city, guys. And I was going to name it Constantinople. Uh, it has... This name here, which is the Constantinople, essentially. Uh, and I think we'll probably change it to the more recognizable uh, spelling. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do, guys. So, yeah, we'll use this spelling here. All right, excellent. So, that's our new city of Constantinople. And the first thing we're going to want to do is add this district here. And then we're going to want to probably go ahead and, I mean, this is one of the nice advantages of, of us having saved all that influence, is we can go and add this one uh, to that, to the city immediately. We can also add this one here. I don't know which one's like more beneficial. I guess we can take a look at those real quick, just as far as like what you're getting. A lot of production over here. Okay, this one might be more beneficial, but you know what, we're going to add this one. So let's go and attach it. 297 so now we're back down to 152 and uh what we'd probably want to do is attach that one to cairo next is what i'm thinking yeah uh we'll attach this one to cairo uh we'll have to save up the 972 influence so that'll be the next thing that we're gonna be purchasing guys and so here's the key guys this is the reason why we did it again it wasn't about the location here that the city was in this one instead of this one uh this one here it wasn't about where it was located none of that was really what i was con considering the only thing it was about was this here. All of these are now built in the city because we have that technology. And so that was the key. That's why we did this, guys. And so now this city is pretty decent for a brand new city. Not bad at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and 
and manage our own stuff. We're going to want to, to focus on food uh, because you can see we, we don't have very high population here. And uh, the, the industry is, is actually decent for a new city. So let's go ahead and, and start out by constructing. I could also get rid of this. I don't think that would have any advantage for us, though, because it's not being worked right now. That might be. You know, we'll go and get rid of it real quick. Because right, you can see right now we're not getting anything here. And I want to see if that's been fixed in the patch. Uh, if, re if removing the ruins would let us work that. Because we should be working it now. Uh, when you click on, I guess you'd have to click on the city here now. You can see that we're getting, you know, six food here, five production here, three production here. So, like, because we have the two districts here, we should be able to work that as soon as we remove the ruin. So we'll see if it works, because uh, I've had some issues with that in the past. And here we got the commons quarter constructed. Uh, so that gives us 20 plus stability. I think we're going to do the food market here, because we can get a pretty good chunk of money there. Yeah, so we're going to get the food market. It'll only be one turn. Pretty easy to to get that done, and let's go and enter turn. We're gonna get a new tech. I think that was the quick one that we're currently getting, though. Yeah, the trade expeditions. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got that knocked out. We're gonna get something selected. We're gonna go and start working on the uh, the tax to get our unique unit here. So we're gonna go out to the war summons next. Also, we'd be able to to upgrade to crossbowmen, though. I don't know if we would want to do that yet. Uh, there's a one plus city cap here in theology, so that'd be helpful too. Yeah, so it might be something we want to get. But let's go and get the war summons. We need to get that unique unit, guys. I'm going to get that as soon as you can. All right, so it looks like several of our cities did just grow, or at least cities and outposts grew. All right, so let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. I feel like we should get another unit built in Constantinople, which kind of sucks because we don't really have a, the population to support that. This attack down here has just been so costly. Yeah, I don't know how we look as far as numbers go. I mean, like, it seems like, I mean, they just keep on, on spawning units here. And the battlefield likely encompass all this. Yeah, I don't really know how we're going to win down here, man. We're going to have to have, like, a massive army. Uh, and those archers are what's the most troublesome here. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, we might need to wait still. I don't even know if this is going to be enough, guys. What we currently have, this might not be enough. And there would be no advantage because of the number of archers of like trying to have like a smaller terrain. Because yeah, they'd just be, they would just tear you to pieces. So yeah, it's best to fight over here. We want to put as many of our numbers in the battle as possible. All right, so Constantinople did clear those ruins. Let's see if it worked. So looks like it maybe harshly fixed because like hovering over it tells us that we're exploiting it and that we're getting two plus industry from exploitation and one plus from the grand planners however you can't see it on the map though like how you can see the little there's no production here so it seems like it partially fixed it like you're at least able to capitalize on the resources there may be uh, but it just doesn't show it to you yeah that's what it seems like hopefully we're getting it so I hope they fix that. It's hard to tell though because again you see it here on the effects but you don't see it on the map. But that could be the bug right there is just that you can't see it. So because we already have all the infrastructure there's only one thing to get here the levy administration which we just got the tech for. So that's the only reason why that wasn't constructed yet. I th think we should probably get our unique district here uh, next. Could do it up here where I think you'd earn the most money. In fact yeah you can earn quite a bit right there. Uh, it looks like it doesn't really matter where we we put it. You're gonna get 23 no matter no matter what. Oh, you get 25 right there. Uh, but I kind of want to build up this area here around the city, and so that's what we're gonna work on. Uh, let's figure out how we want to do this. I know we want to move towards the iron, and and thus to get over there, you have to build all the way around here to build a to get anything built there. As you see, we can't build anything here just yet. So you got to move all the way around here, and I want to build a bunch of research districts around here. This is gonna be our research city. And so I want research districts right around here. And thus we got to build all the way around that way first. Uh, so let's see how we want to do this. Is it better to get a production building here? or Oh, good God, you're not getting crap here. All right, you can get 14 production there. I guess it's not the worst. So yeah, I guess we'll do production buildings all up along here. That'll allow us to you know build these districts quicker. And then here in Cairo, we did finish up the construction of the food market, stepping up our income by a bit. 
Uh, let's go in and get. Let's see, let's see what we want to get. Uh, so, see if there's any of the infrastructure that we want. So I think we're gonna get the school next because we can get quite a bit of uh, science from this. I don't know if we can get more than what we'd get from having a uh, a research quarter, but remember, research quarters do. Yeah, we don't get seven. Uh, they do also, like any of the districts, reduce your stability. We can get quite a bit from the schools. Yeah, we get a lot. Because uh, you're going to get two plus for every one of these research quarters, which remember, these are considered research quarters. So you're going to get like two there, two there, so that's four, and that's eight. And then plus you get the adjacency bonuses, so even more. So I think the school is the best thing to get here. And I believe that's it for this turn. Let's go and end the turn. Oh shoot, I completely forgot about the siege over here. <laughs> yeah, well, now we got more troops over there. My bad guys, I forgot all about the siege. And uh, maybe get rid of the yew trees. All right, so we're gonna have to go take a look at that. And the Persians have entered the medieval era and they are the Teutonic Order. And so they're gonna get more faith and they'll have that one powerful unit. Yeah, I completely forgot about this here, guys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> wow. We are about to kill that unit, though, so... Yeah, I didn't say anything about how long it was going to take before, but we are about to kill him. I think he has reinforcements, though. Yeah, they got some archer reinforcements here. From over here. Alright, so that's going to be... going to make this battle a lot more difficult. So we'll just wait for the two turns. One more, we get another ballista. Yeah, we'll just wait, guys. I should have already capitalized on that. Uh, we do have enemies in our lands. Yeah, she's like all up in our territory. Uh, if we attacked here, it does look like it should be included in the reinforcements. But that's not what we're seeing here on the attack. Yeah, it's not including those that number there when it should. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it, guys, because I don't think that's I don't think that's right. All right, so we're in a bad position here. Remember, they can just attack right here and take that outpost from us, because that's just an outpost. So yeah, th this this distraction down here, guys, and this is exactly what it is. It's a distraction. So we're not gonna move all the way in yet. Every time we move right there, they attack us. So we're just gonna move right here, and then skip our turn. Uh, we have another event, the Human Cause. Across the border where war ravages the empire of the Teutons. And I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Teutons? Teutons, maybe? <laughs> uh, thousands have abandoned their homes and are now seeking sanctuary in your peaceful lands. Refugees, and no doubt some agitators too, are massing near the closest city of Cairo. I don't think that's the closest city, but they are tired but proud, afraid yet hopeful. It is a delicate matter, and one that may have far-reaching consequences. What is your decree? I think Thebes is actually closer. So we can refuse them uh, from entering, in which case we'll move closer to homeland, get another combat bonus, cost us 150 gold, and have a chance of unexpected consequences. Or we can welcome them, and it'll move us closer to towards world, get two more population in Cairo, and a chance of unexpected consequences. I want to say it's a negative event is what you get in this one. I don't think I've ever refused them before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever refused them. I think every time I always welcome the refugees. So I don't know what happens with this one. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, I want to see what the event is uh, that fires. Because I know what this one is. It's, it's a negative one, I, I, I recall. I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we're going to go with this one this time. Mainly because I'm trying to get to that homeland to get that 2 plus combat strength. We have these two battles going. Uh, so that would be really helpful. An extra combat strength for all of our units. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. Though we are going to lose stability. Uh, also, we can introduce ourselves to the English now. So let's go ahead and do that. Greetings. I'm Maybe see where all these empires are located, because right now we're really not trading with anybody else but them. And I'm wondering if there's anybody... Okay, so he's right here. I don't know if we'll be able to set up a trade route. There's even a... Yeah, they don't even have anything to trade anyways. Oh yes, that's right. I was going to contact her about her trade. Uh, I keep... I'm just so missing, messing up, guys. Uh, we could have been taking advantage of some of this stuff here. And we should have been. Uh, so like the lead, we're going to get... Because, uh, yeah, we got the money. There's no reason not to take advantage of this. Uh, this will be science for researchers. So it only helps if you have a researcher. Uh, but we'll get plus four stability. I guess we don't have to open it up just to look at it. 
Uh, this is just a straight plus five science. I don't know how many how many uh, you know population civilians we have working as researchers right now, so I don't know how much that's going to benefit us. Yeah, I'd really have to look. And then with the die, we'd get industry and stability. Okay. Let me just take a look and see how many we even have as researchers. We have two over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think we have a lot. So I don't think that the lead would be the most beneficial. But another thing to consider that I didn't look at is, is how much of these are going to cost. So we're going to look at that real quick and see which ones are going to be the cheapest. 869 that's really expensive. Uh, 826 there. And the die would likely be, I was going to say cheaper, but it looks like it's going to be pretty expensive. Okay, uh, so the cheaper route is actually these ones. We're gonna go for this one. I think this will be the most beneficial for us. Get more science. So we're gonna purchase that. We have more money for purchasing additional resources, if we wish. Oh yeah, she's uh, yeah, she's having a independent people problems as well. All right, uh, so again, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, guys. It really doesn't feel like it. Let's go to enter turn. But yeah, it just doesn't feel like we're going to have enough down here. And then we got her coming here. I expect that she's going to raid that location. I mean, what else would she be coming over here to do? <laughs> like, there's nothing else that she could be doing here. And so we really need to get this wrapped up so we can move our units over there. One more turn and that guy dies. I suppose that's what we'll wait for. We could also wait another additional turn to get the next ballista. I don't know if his reinforcements are healing... Because I know he has one injured archer there. Or if they'll... Well, they can't move out. Oh, they couldn't heal because they're considered part of the battle. So never mind. They're not healing. All right. So we can try and attack in here. I don't know, guys. It's like... That is like a stupid number of units. I don't think we'll be able to win. Maybe if we upgraded first after we got this tech. But yeah, this is uh, a challenging conflict overall. I can like just grab the unit and then see like what we're looking at that's without them reinforcing oh damn it I'm always accidentally moving my damn units but let's move these guys in here so that we can actually see the numbers and that's what we're looking at what we currently have 232 to 309 there's no way we're winning that I mean maybe if we're attacking because you can destroy those archers so that number seems more than it actually is Yeah, I don't know, guys. What if we attacked? I don't think there's any way to, like, not have certain units fighting. Yeah. Again, the, the archers, the number of archers they have is deceptive. Because they, they really suck in melee. You can completely wipe them out in one turn. And so it is a little bit deceptive if we were able to engage the archers, but I expect they would keep those in the back. Now they actually have other units to like support those archers, uh, which are right here. No, these are all archers. Good God. It has just so many archers. But yeah, we have this whole army here. I suppose what we could do is race the Maker's Quarter and build another unit here. Try and get them up to a full strength. That's the only thing I can really think to do here is have two full strength armies. It's really the only uh, solution. So let's go and buy out the Maker's Quarter. And then try and get some more units uh, to reinforce these guys here. What would we want? What does this get us? Could also wait to get these guys. I suppose that would be an option as well. And then you can upgrade everybody. Although this is replacing two unique units. And I don't know how much of an upgrade that would be. Because uh, you're moving up from... I guess the crossbowman would be a nice upgrade. Y you lose the speed though. Uh, but yeah, they would be a good upgrade I suppose. Uh, but when it comes to the, the Spartans, or, or I should say the Hoplites, uh, I don't think that's worth it moving to the Pikemen. Again, just looking at the uh, the stats here, they're going up to 31. Our Hoplites, uh, by default, are 29. And so I, I don't think it's worth the extra upkeep cost to just upgrade by 2 and then lose the Phalanx ability because the Pikemen don't get that. So they're more powerful if they're next to each other. And so basically point is we don't want to get any more archer units at this moment instead we should probably get somebody that we're not going to upgrade immediately uh, we could also do more horsemen uh, we have a couple of those but those would kind of help chase down those those archers maybe get around some people uh, because the uh the horsemen 
do have the, uh, they ignore the enemy zone of control. So it allows us to try and get around units to try and attack those archers. Do they have walls? They do not have walls. Okay, so that's interesting. And I don't think this would count as a siege, though, unless we attacked right there. In which case, then they get all the peasants helping them and stuff. So we wouldn't want to do that. Alright, so yeah, that's what we'll do, guys. That's how we'll beat them. We're going to build two more units. And uh, we'll get one more horseman. That'll be two more turns. And if we wanted to get a hoplite, we'd have to get that before the tech here. So I think that's what we're going to do, actually. Let's let's get the hoplite first. I guess we could have uh, kept him on there. But yeah, we'll get the hoplite first. Make sure we're able to build him. And then, yeah, just attack him with 10 units. And they, they keep on producing more units, though, so I don't know if they'll have more in the meantime. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, so we did construct that school. Stepping up our science here. That's excellent. Uh, could go ahead and get this, but we, I don't think we have enough uh, pops in the, the researchers to justify doing that. Well, let's go ahead and get our unique district. We don't have that yet here in the main city district. And we're going to do it right here since we'll get that, that money bonus from being next to this. And what we could do is have this be the money sector for for Cairo as well. Because, you know, this, this uh, territory has it here. Cairo doesn't have a money yeah, we don't have a money area. And so this could just all be our money area. That could be really beneficial, actually. So yeah, we'll build it here. So we'll get that next. That's going to be a total of four turns. You know what? We'll do one more turn, guys. Try to make a little bit of progress here. And then that'll leave us at this situation here where we'll do the attack. Uh, they didn't attack us. I'm surprised. I don't know what they're doing then. They could attack here instead, I suppose, but that doesn't make any sense. Maybe they're just moving through our territory because they can. So we're just going to keep on having these guys skip their turn. Remember, don't want to move any further because they always seem to uh, <laughs> attack us when we do. So we'll just have these guys skip their turn for right now. And then let's go and take a look at the siege here. See if we're ready. We'll wait one more turn uh, to get the Belissa since it's almost done. And they've already lost the peasant there. So yeah. Uh, what we'll do, wait more, one more turn, we'll have three ballistas in the attack. We're clearly much stronger than they are. Uh, so again, this should be an easy battle at this point. They do have those archers to help, uh, but we didn't need to wait this long. I just forgot about it. <laughs> I completely forgot about it there for a minute. Uh, Thebes has something to build. Uh, they finished the theater. All right, excellent. Uh, so with that constructed, let's go ahead and get that harbor, because I built it in, in a lake. Maybe over here? This is connected to the sea. Yeah, so we'd have to do it here. Because uh, here, this is a lake as well. These are all lakes. And this is the lake. So it had to be right here. And so that we could build a, a sea unit. And it would give us 14 food. That's not bad. Yeah, I wish I'd seen that before we built here. I, I forgot that this was part of uh, Thieves. So yeah, we'll build right right around here somewhere. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I suppose we'll do it here so we can have like economic districts right here. Ah, we'll do it right there. That'll give us all the food here. All right, so that'll be done in five turns. And then we'll be able to start getting a sea unit, which that'll be the first thing we do when we finish the harbor, is we'll get our first sea unit. Nobody has gotten this over here. We could always uh, move a unit to get that, but we just don't have any available at this moment. I'm really curious what the hell she's doing. So yeah, what we'll do is, uh, as soon as we start the next episode, we'll end our turn, and then we'll do that siege. And uh, then we'll have like three more turns and then plus whatever it takes to get the, the units over here. So maybe four or five more turns. And then we'll attack these guys. So I expect both of those will be next episode. The, the big attack over here. And then the smaller one over here. And uh, that'll expand our empire by a bit. Uh, these are both cities. I don't think we'll keep this one as a city. Yeah, we'll destroy this one and attach it to, the, to Constantinople. Yeah, that's what we'll do with that one. And then over here... I'm not sure. We might leave that as a, as a, a city and then you could detach these two. Uh, we'd be hitting the city cap and it would only be 10 influence and we kind of have, that's like, you know, a little over 10% of what we make right now. So we can we can eat that, I suppose. Yeah. So that's what we'll probably do is keep this one as a city. If it's in a decent location, another option would be destroy it and rebuild another city so that you can get all those, those uh, infrastructure as we did before. Might be the better route to go, but a little bit more expensive when it comes to influence. And then just attach this one to here rather than to Thebes. And then Thebes will get this one, is what I'm thinking. 
yeah, I, I believe that's the way we'll do it. Uh, before we do anything else, though, I, I really want to get this one attached if we can. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Uh, we did uh, did a few things over here. We got ourselves a new city, the city of Constantinople. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.